Hey guys, welcome to another video. And in this example, what I will be proving is that five to the two n plus seven is a multiple of eight for n, for an integer n that is greater than or equal to one. And the person who submitted this problem wants us to prove this using induction. So the first step in a proof by induction is to create our statement. In our statement, we will define as p of n. And this is defined as eight divides five to the two n plus seven. So if eight divides five to the two n plus seven, then that is the same thing as saying that this is a multiple of eight. So that is why I'm defining my statement like this. And the second step is to show that the initial case is true. So in this example, we are interested whenever n is greater than or equal to one. So we want to show the starting case, which is p of one. And we need to show that this is true. So basically what I'm saying is that we need to show that eight divides five to the two times one plus seven. So first let's evaluate this right hand side right here. So five to the two times one is just five squared plus seven. And this is just equal to 25 plus seven, which is 32. And we know that this is divisible by eight because we can write this as eight times four, which equals 32. So here we have successfully shown that the case for p of one is true. The next thing that we wanna do in a proof by induction is assume that p of k is true for an arbitrary integer k, such that k is again greater than or equal to one. So when we assume this is true, basically what, are, what we are saying is that there exists an integer m such that eight times m is equal to five to the two k plus seven. And this is just a direct result of assuming that p of k is true. Because if p of k is true, then eight divides five to the two k plus seven. So we can write it out like this for an arbitrary integer m. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to show that p of k plus one is true again for an arbitrary integer k. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in k plus one into this expression right here. So when I do that, I get five to the two times k plus one and then plus seven. I'm gonna simplify this a little bit. I'm gonna write this as five to the two k plus two, just distributing the two. And then I'm gonna simplify this even further by bringing out this five squared. So I can write this as five squared times five to the two K plus seven. And then I can evaluate five squared and I could say this is really equal to 25 times five to the two K plus seven. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to split up this 25 times five to the two K and I'm gonna break it up into 24 times five to the two K plus one times five to the two K and then plus seven. So what I have here is two parts, this part and this part, or this part, I can substitute in for this expression. Because we assumed that p of k was true, I can use this expression to simplify what I have right here. And in this term, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna factor out an eight. So I can say that this is equal to eight times three times five to the two k, plus eight times m, or this just comes from this expression that we assumed. And now I can factor out an eight from both terms. So what I get is eight times three times five to the two K plus M. So what I have right here is an arbitrary constant. And what I have right here is an eight. So what I've shown is that we can express five to the two times K plus one plus seven. We can express this in the form of eight times a constant. And by definition of divides, I can conclude that eight divides this expression because we know that it is a factor of five to the two times k plus one plus seven. So in other words, what I have just shown is that five to the two times k plus one plus seven is a multiple of eight, just like what we wanted to show up here. So as a result of these steps, I can conclude since p of zero is true and 
P of K being true implies that P of K plus one is true, which we showed, then by induction, I can conclude that eight will divide five to the two n plus seven for any integer n that's greater than or equal to one. And this is equivalent to saying that five to the two n plus seven is a multiple of eight. Thus, the proof is concluded. So anyway, thanks for watching. And if you guys have any other questions, feel free to submit them. You can post them on Facebook. You can leave a comment. You can email them to me, or you can even tweet them at me. But either way, I will get back to you, and I will get a video up for you. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.